In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect the Nintendo Switch to Pro Controller to your MacBook. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to plug the Nintendo Switch to Pro Controller into our MacBook. We're going to connect it. How we're going to connect it is with the cable. So when you bought the Nintendo Switch to Pro Controller, it came with the cable. And that's what we're going to do, guys. So we're going to connect it. And we'll put, on, put the other side of the cable kind of put in there. So right now it looks like this. And there's the controller. So why do we connect it with the cable? At the moment, it's not possible to connect your Nintendo Switch to Pro Controller with Bluetooth to your Mac. When it will be possible, I'll make a video about it and then uh, you will know it. So then what we're going to do is we're going to Google. And in Google, we're going to the site handheldlegend.gifthub.io. A link to this uh, tool will be in the description down below. What we're going to do on the enabler tool, we're going to click on enable HDI output. Then it says Nintendo Switch Super Controller paired. And then we're going to click on connect, guys. And as you can see, it's connected. Then the next step we're going to do is the other software we're going to use is X output. So what you want to do is you want to click on xoutput.zip. Then we're going to our downloads and we're going to unzip it and you want to open it. As you can see guys, we're clicking on it. So I'm clicking on it as you can see and nothing happens. Why is this? And this is because X output can only work on Windows. So it's not possible to, uh, to run it on a MacBook or macOS like this. So but the next step we're going to do is we're going to install Windows on our Mac. Then the last software we're going to use, guys, I promise you, is mac.getutm.app. All of these links will be in the video description down below. And we're going to click on download. Then we're going to downloads. UTM, we're going to open it. And what you want to do is you want to drag the, uh, the icon into the application. I already have it, I'm just gonna say replace. Then what you want to do guys is you want to click on UTM. You want to double click on the logo. And then we're going to click on open. And then we're going to click on create new virtual machine. We're going to select virtualize. You want to install Windows and then what you want to do is you want to click on fetch latest Windows installer. So what you want, I already have the app. That's why I'm already going to crystal fetch, install crystal fetch. And then you want to have Windows 11. We have an Intel. So look at right here on your Mac about this Mac. Guys, at this moment, you can see I have a MacBook Pro from 2019 and here it says Intel. So probably all of the MacBooks which are built in 2021 and newer will be Apple Silicon and all of the MacBooks older than 2021 will be Intel like this. So I will choose Intel language, just the uh, United States. And then we're just going to press on download and we're going to press on accept. Then what we're going to do is we're going to click on create a new folder. And we're going to call it Windows 11 ISO file. And we're going to click on create. And then we're going to click on move. Then this we're going to put away. And then we just made it. So we're going to click on browse. We're going to select the Windows ISO file. We're going to click on open. And then this is the one that we just made. So 1517, 1570. And we're going to click on open and we're going to click on continue. We're going to set the GP, uh, GPU course on four. This can stay the same. I'm going to click on continue. Shared directory part. Now we can just uh, select the Windows 11 uh, folder that we just made. That's uh, okay. And then we're going to click on continue. And this we're going to click on save. So what we're going to do is we're going to click. We're going to open the play button. Then we're going to press enter. Yeah, so we're going to language, English, time and currency format. I was going to say English. Keyboard, next. Yes, we're going to click on, I don't have a product key. 
Um, we'll go select Windows 11 Home. We're going to click on Accept. And we're going to click on Next. Then we're going to click on Yes, United States. Then what's your name? Just fill in your name. Password, we're going to click on Next. Right here, we just have installed Windows 11 on our Mac. Then I'm going to make it bigger and we're going to click on Next. We're going to click on I agree. Then we're going to click on Finish. What we're going to do is we're going to right click. And then we're going to click on Display Settings. And what we're going to do guys at the moment, what you can see is at the moment this display is 1173 x138 and what we're going to do is we're going to change it to 1920 x 1080 guys okay and we're going to click on keep changes then we're going to click it away and what we're going to do is we're going to google so we're in uh, the microsoft google and what we're going to do is we're going to paste and we're going again to the GitHub X output. So again, the link will be in the video description down below. Then what we're going to do is we're going to click on the X output.zip. So it downloaded what we're going to do. We're going to the home menu. We're going to open it. And we're going to click on downloads. And here it says X output. What we're going to do, I'm going to drag X output onto the desktop. Then I'm going to click on the X output zip file. There you have it guys, X output. Then we're going to open it. Then we're going to click on add controller. And then we're going to click on edit. And what we're going to do, what we're going to do right now is we're going to map the buttons of the controller. We're not going to do them one by one. We're going to scroll down and we're going to click on configure all. So we're going to click on configure all. And right now what you do, yep, when the button is lighting up, you just press the, you just press it. Okay, guys, then what we're going to do. Is as you can see, I'm moving right now. I'm moving the controller, and as you can see right above, guys, it's working. And this is how you connect your Nintendo Switch to Pro Controller to the Mac.